Hello everybody, welcome to Noah Bug Hunt. Hello everybody, welcome back. First, we're gonna go ants, termite, and then the others. So um, now I was going to show you first his recent catch with the ants. So he caught two type of ants, uh, other than the one that we already had at the beginning. So we're going to give you a new update about the ant. And also the recent catch that he caught, which is the termites and butterflies. And he got some where, um, caterpillars in here. So let's start. You know, tell us. So guys, first we got carpenter. I'm gonna call these guys. So, are oh, these the carpenters? Carpenter ants. Yeah. They have lots of eggs and one small queen. Oh, are they already in the nest or they're not ready yet? They're not ready yet to go in the sky. Oh, right. Okay. Needs like almost to fill up. Yeah, that's true. So, they, they look happy there already. All right. Where is she? Right, what about the next one? These guys are the sneaky guys. Why? Because they keep on escaping every way. Oh no. But do you know the type of this ant are or you don't know? I don't know. We're still guys um, trying to find out what type of this kind of species. Alright. What is Happy New Year's, uh, you going to tell everybody what is your happy news? First worker! Yay! We've got our sugar ant here. Whoa. And she got yeah. the first ever worker. Oh, such and a it's cutie. Under. Do you think that it, the other one is almost hat, going yeah. to hatch? I see its small legs. I know, I can see that. And it's... And go. Yeah, we're going to, soon we're going to start feeding the queen ant, right? She yeah. must be tired, hey? Yeah. And in a video it said, the first worker will die really early. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because the queen will keep on telling him to get lots of things. Yeah, the fir usually the first worker get absolutely tired because he's the only one. He's sniffing her butt. Serving the queen, yes. True. All right, what else do you want to tell us about? What are these? One still got its wings on, and this guy looks like a queen today. There's a lot of termites out in here, so we're gonna get actually release them somewhere in the forest. We we don't want them near the house, right? Yeah, they're gonna be big pests. Yes, they are. And what else you wanna tell everybody about? And what else do you want to tell everybody about? Uh, our butterfly. Hey, where is it? Oh, over here. Oh my gosh. You can, you can bring it. Okay, we don't. Oh, such a cutie. Look at a yellow yeah, toy. Yeah, now we're going to release her now, just before we um, go. Kind of catch a beautiful video before she goes. And we got also a silkworm. Oh, is it a silkworm inside? Let yeah. me see, where is it? Oh, where is it? I can't see. Oh, in, they are all there. Yeah, and where is it? It's making a silk yeah. cake. They are all green. Uh -huh. Let me show, show it to you much better, guys. I'll open it. Okay, it calls looper caterpillars. I wonder where are they? Tell us about this caterpillar, Noah. It's a looper caterpillar too. 
It just mm. looks like a silk one, but a looper. Look, it's covering itself with it with its silk. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna turn into a moth or a caterpillar? Moth. Or I mean, oh, look at me. Butterfly. Is it gonna actually turn into a um, moth or a I butterfly? Think moth. You think moth? All right, we'll see then. When it, once it hatch, I'll show everybody what does it turn into. I think it will take a few weeks or days. It's true. But it's an batch. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you ready to release it now? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. So just put it next to the flower. So you're gonna put it put on the flower. Or maybe over here. Yeah, you can put her anywhere. Hey. Butterfly. I hope she will be fine. Yeah. Guys, if you want to catch a queen ant, get all of these materials. So what do we need when we go outside? Tube. Where do we go? We need tubes. Yes, test test tube. Gun. Okay. Um, you know, like um, a little gun? insect gun um catcher. Yes. What else? Container what? to put some ants. What else? And if you really, it's really hard to catch it, go, if it's easy, go low, if it's hard, go high. All right, what else we need? Maybe sometimes juice. No, these some are uh, ant juice are later when you catch the ant, right? Or um, if they have worker. And a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass to identify what type of ant you're catching. And also, do you forgot somebody? Are you going alone in the forest to no. look for queen ant? The parents. Of course, you need somebody, an adult or a parent who comes with you and look for the ant queen, right? Cotton balls to kind of lock in the, the end of the test, test tube and also inside water? the test tube with water so it can always if stay moist. If you see moist. fresh water in the pond, just like gather it up, put the... Put the... Cotton ball. Cotton ball. And put the ant quickly. Put sometimes the juice later on. Yep. And put it on there. Yeah. Uh, next video. Bye bye. Now this is a really close video to the carpenter ant, sugar queen ant, and the butterfly. Hope you like it, guys. There are many different kinds of sugar ants, each a slightly different shape and size. They are normally very tiny, between 2.5 to 18 millimeters long. They have large black heads, a small waist, and a rusty orange-brown middle. In Australia, sugar ants are frequently found, occurring in kitchens, under rocks, logs, and open forests, woodlands. Fun fact, sugar ants can squirt a smelly substance, called formic, Acid as a form of protection from predators.